welcome back to Pathologic 2. We begin day 5 uh, in a somewhat ironic, or at least poetically apt turn of events. I have uh, since caught some form of illness myself, um, so I apologize that my voice is probably going to be a little bit more raspy for these recordings than it previously was. I'll do my best, though, to continue the narration in the same style as always. Uh, once more into the breach, dear friends, and fill the gap with all our dead. Okay, let's find out where we're going exactly on the map. So, dead item shop is open, stuck, <laughs> infected organs, okay, we go this way around, we go across the bridge and we go to find stuck. I can't think of any other good way to go around this, so uh, that's what we'll do. Uh, let's also just find out who is at risk. It's just Notkin and Andre that are infected, and we need to help. Howling of dead dogs, or dying dogs at least. <laughs> okay. these houses are burnt out, I might actually be able to go in and loot them. I'm just going to be very careful not to uh, not to make too much of a mess. If there's anyone in here, then we leave immediately. Okay. Because I'm not in the mood to be dealing with looters right now, or at least I'm not in the mood to deal with them openly. Ah, no bobby pins. Right, stuff. Rotten food, nah. Not worth it. Don't have any lockpicks. It's probably worth me investing in some more lockpicks now, actually, isn't it? Rookie. Not bad. I think I might have glitched the fight there a little bit, actually. So that was far easier than it necessarily should have been. Still. This lockpick's not gonna last long. Ugh, nothing in here that I can use. Okay. This place has already been mostly ransacked. and outwards. Is 
So after a district has been infected, oh, hello. got a knife. We're running. We're running. I'm not I'm not gonna take any chances with that. Fuck. Good start to the day. Fuck. That's Dr. Rubinakar, your father's false student. You know him. Tell me what he does at night. False. He was a very loyal student. He went overboard, even. He has no respect for the dead, no respect for the body. He cuts bodies open without grace. He knows not the lines, and he is an outsider. What is worth, I'm an outsider, too. Tell me, what does he do during the night? Where does he hide? Ask yourself. During the day, he's in the hospital working. He won't say, and we don't have time. He needs to be stopped very fast. Why? The Katanga are worried. Your friend is doing evil. The blame, as always, will be pinned to us, and we are dwindling by the hour as it is. Me a hundreds left now. Don't tell me, I know. Fuck me. That guy's really following after me. Shit. Um. Okay. Stay yet. I don't want to run into anyone else overnight. I've, I've been stabbed several times. Is this Anna's house? Oh, whoops. Well, I, I didn't mean to come in here necessarily, but... Okay, well, we're going to need to sleep for at least a little bit. Improve our health just a touch. Dream. Where am I? This is not the kind of dream that I wanted to have. I've got random items. Where am I? What's going on? This isn't home. Oh no. Lara, why have you got a class full of children? You've fallen asleep. This is the most important lesson of your life, and you've fallen asleep. The most crucial lesson. Children, what do we say to Artemy? How will we punish him? Will he stand in the corner like Daniel? Let's just skip the straight of the cane. Children, Artemy fell asleep. Though he has disgraced his class, we must continue. Today, I'll teach you the right way to eat a person. For a woman, start with the softest flesh. For a man, the internal organs. And please, stay away from anyone with red hair. Their flesh is venomous. Fucking gingers, am I right? <laughs> Laura? Children, life's rules are simple. Everyone for themselves. Everyone's shirt is close to their skin. It's neither your headache nor your piece of cake. Homo homo e lupus est. You have neither mothers nor fathers. Murder unseen. Repeat after me. I've got a question. Ask questions with your hands raised, if you have any hands left, I mean. Why is Daniel being punished? Daniel was punished for insolence. Children. Which of you can tell us why Daniel deserves punishment? Children, tell us what awaits him. Bolivian? Children, to survive, to remain uh, resolute, you must heed this lesson. Remember, history is written by winners. There is no truth. The truth is whatever you think it is. That's true, but... 
If you have a friend, learn to betray them. If you have a lover, disappoint them first, then betray them and leave them behind. Children, I'm teaching you how to survive. What was your homework? <laughs> Divination. Laura, you're about to kill a person. You're going to be executed for it. <laughs> Poor Dankowski. Why is this happening? Hey, can I copy your homework? What was the task? The rules of life, as always. Don't you know it all in advance? Want a gingerbread? <laughs> sure. Why are you so grown up, anyway? How do they let you into the school? Why was Daniil punished? He told her she doesn't know how to play and only ruins it all. <laughs> well, it is true. Well, this did not help. Okay, better than nothing, it will have to do. I've not got that long until we're done. This is why I should have kept some bandages on hand. I've made some mistakes here. Please tell me you've got something. No. Uh, this conversation again. Okay. I do need some of these things to sharpen my scalpel, but we'll take those later. I do want to keep a sharp scalpel on hand at all times. I'm going to need a sharp scalpel soon to extract organs from the dead, and I don't want to waste what I have. Let's just save the game, just in case, because I don't want to die here. My respects to you, Asaka. You are looking for him too? He has not come yet. Sly. What's he so afraid of? A bull knows when Olongo is near. He doesn't want to go in. Pushes back. Olongo? Or oh, right before. Your name for the abattoir. Elders say he's wronged us grievously. Elders say many Khatang will die for his misdeeds. Why? Who knows? Who cares? Elders say and we obey. What is there to think about? Why think without reason too soon to think? God, it was so right to send me away from here. Hmm. Ruben isn't at home. So maybe he's hanging out with Griff. Right, well, what we can do is we can go and deal with the infected. Do I want to buy anything at the pharmacy first? Do I have any antibiotics? Monomycium. Right, I need some more antibiotics before I'm going to be able to actually treat anyone. Okay. Neomycium. Monomycium. Those will have to do. The bandage. 
please. If you so, uh, if you'd be so kind. All day for now. Right, here's to hoping. Andre is going to be amenable to the antibiotics that we have. If he's not, then we might be in trouble. But we'll just need to go to a different pharmacy. Hmm, I do want the grindstone, but we'll, we'll, we'll get that later. Not, not immediately important. your pal. Oh, where's Andre gone? Special for the black twire. Well. Where's Andre gone? He should be around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Okay, Andre. Uh, let's see the bones or nerves. If it's nerves, I might be fucked. I just gave him a medrill. Right. Definitively in the nerves, and I have nothing to treat it. Of course I don't have anything to treat it. That's fucking perfect. Right. Right, what? No, you're not coming after me with knives again. What is going on here? Grindstone chalk. Okay. I'll just let them do their thing, that's fine. 
Grindstone and choke. I, mm, I need the grindstones for sharpening a scalpel, I think. Don't remember how else you sharpen your scalpels or get them into better condition, but hey -ho. I have a question for our mother. There is a little time left before it all ends. What happens? Would I be allowed to spare the lives of those who trusted me and called themselves friends? Would I be allowed not to kill them? When the kin flood the town, when the step consumes the streets and houses, what shall I do to people then? Just leave people alone. Вар расставщик свару варякат. Только только брагу притавили как на тебя. The heck you doing here? Just thought it was the same. Heard about Reuben? No way the kin wants him dead. He's walking around all downcast, doesn't sleep. Says not to ask. Says it's safer like that. What's he done? I wonder. I wanted to ask Saba, but maybe you know. Reuben's in danger. What makes you think so? Check up on him. We're neighbors now, after all. It was me who granted him his new den. Where? Show me. I already told you too much. This business between me and Reuben, not you. He wanted secrecy, and he got it. Making an exception for Artemy? <laughs> nah. That's all right. The yeah, warehouses aren't endless. I will find him. Peter is here. What's Peter doing here? How far is your kind, Katangar? Sign by a kid. Things are looking up. A beautiful pull is coming in from the steppe to walk the streets soon. Here in the earth to chase away the past, to restore things to how they were. Why bring one in from the step? Don't we have enough of our own? That bull is clean, closer to Mother Bodho, to the earth herself. All of ours are too close to the Orlongo. They expect death, Suok, to grab them by the horns any day. Do you believe in the old rites? I'm not sure. The elders believe and the young ones don't. Trying won't hurt, I think. There are ten reasons behind every change, but only one of them matters. How does one find it? Right about trying, at least. Interesting. Okay. Pharmacy. Pharmacy. Pharmacies probably are not going to be open during deadlight hours. Okay. I think we probably need to uh, restock our supply of twire. Oh, hello. What are you doing there, Murky? Just wanted a place to hang out? That's, that's cool. I'd rather her be safe than not. Kid's doing okay, at least. Okay. Uh, shoot. Okay, what are we missing? White, green, and orange. Okay. White is blood and brown. Blood and... Brown. Okay. That's fine. Five of each is probably more than good enough. Okay, so brown and black is an orange. Okay. And uh, black and blood. That gives us a green. Oh, am I out of black? Fine, I've got quite a bit more. Black and blood. It's fine. Antibiotics. Probably just throw some of this useless items away, but okay. We need a needle, a th thread, and a cloak. I'm not gonna have that for a little while. Right. 
grindstone and a chisel. Do I have either of those? No, but I can pick them up. That's fine. Okay, so we've got a little bit of time. Tincture mixed with an infected organ. I can do... I can still do that. Still got time. So, we go, we try and save Notkin. I don't know how to save him. Necessarily, do I have to do I have to cure him this soon? Do I have to use a powder? Do I have to use the children's powder to cure Notkin? You're gonna take today's map on infected districts. You're on it again. You're so brave now, but one day you'll walk into a district unprotected and bam, infection in your face. Someone will get infected because they've got plague at their doorstep and you won't even know. And then what? No, nothing. I'll figure something out. It's not like you can stop us anyway. We've no plans to fit in our hands. We don't take it another Doctor Will, a less squeamish one. Be a dash fish? Fine, but you're spreading the infection too. How many times do I have to tell you? You won't hold us all back. Fine, have it your way. I'll bring you protective medicine enough for a couple of kids and I'll be the only ones doing the scouting. Is that clear? Crystal clear. Thanks, Mom. We could find pills ourselves. We're not helpless, but sure. And if you're so kind, how about bringing other useful stuff to you? In exchange, we'll make sure the map is top notch. Bargain, eh? With a map of the infected districts, and we'll trade at you for fat loot. I want to protect you, you little rebels. Mm. I will probably need gun ammunition soon. Who's at risk? Khan is in danger and Vlad the Younger is in danger. Okay. We can protect them, that's not too much of an issue, hopefully. That should keep him fairly low in terms of infection. Okay. Time to go deal with Reuben. I don't think we're going to get to that item shop before morning breaks. So I'm a bit reluctant about curing anyone too soon into the game because the game lasts 12 days and districts will become infected again. No need to provide a cure only to have it be worthless two days later. Oh bloody hell. Jesus, he's got a shotgun. And and he's got ammo for the shotgun. I, I kind of want the shotgun. <laughs> well, that is an insane amount of money. 12,000 coins for the shotgun. 
I have nothing like you could really you know each of the shells is super expensive anyway no there's nothing I can really do here let's just reload with two so one two two bullets Where's Ruben's shop? Where's Ruben's setup? Must be in here somewhere. Hmm. Okay. So we none of these main buildings so far. At least it doesn't seem to be. That's Griff's nest. Perhaps around the corner. Oh, there's a light on, so I usually... Yeah, maybe it's here. Wow. Something is going on here. Учитель бы поступил точно так же. Взвалил бы все на себя. How do you find me? The lamp by the door, you grand conspirator. Supply of grief, yep, then. I'd throttle him with his own loose tongue if I could. What are you doing here? What's up behind the curtains? Is it shining? Can't say anything right now. You don't want to know anyway. Ignorance is bliss. Just trust me when I say it's important. It's very important, Cub. Stack, you're making medicine too, aren't you? Answer me. Listen, I won't tell you anything until I'm done. Too many people would be let down. The person would. If you want to know so badly, buy me some time to finish what I started. Buy from whom? Who are you hiding from? Your kin are after me, surrounding me like wolves. They haven't attacked yet, but soon will. Perhaps they're already here, never far from you. Stuck. You told me you have no idea what an Udurg is. What are you hiding behind those sheets? It's a long story. Just will you stop asking? Lend me a hand. Scout the area around the warehouse. I suspect that people wait for me. If they have found me, well... Handle them. Handle them how? I don't know, just however you can. Don't let them find me. They can sense where I am. I know their breed. They're getting close. I just need more time. I need one more day or two, maybe. Alright. I'll scout the area. Please hide better and put the lamp out. What is, what is this? Okay. If you're here, then so is he. Good. I'll tell the others. There's only four of us here. We'll need to call for help. He's not here. You're a bad liar, Kathanger. It is unbecoming. We will not lie to you. We will call for help. It's good to know there are only four of you, and you're all separated too. Shitting shit. Ugh, damn it, damn it. Must you? Хорошая шутка не обязана быть смешной. Она должна быть красивой. Is it my line now? Oh yes, you're right. Here I go. Go back, my friend. The door is over there. Oh, you mean? Oh, no, 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 wrong line. Let's try again. I was dead. So I wasn't completely dead. As director of our theatre, I will now inform you of the most important pillar of your role. Silence in the audience. So with each death of a new actor, we all face irreversible consequences. Got that? Irreversible. Irreversible. Are you unfamiliar with the word? The word you're writing in changes... Um, each... 
death, stage death of our hero, forever. If we had a chance to trick time, go back and start over from a turning point, the consequences of death would remain. So what happens next? Any actor who continues Burdak's path in place of the previous Burdak will have it harder than their predecessor, such as the theater of cruelty. Each death makes the role harder. You'll become burdened with the consequences of your prede predecessor's deaths, their negligence. What sort of consequences? Unpleasant and painful. You won't be able to make a step without a drink of water. How's that? What about being unable to touch a close one, or growing as weak as a five-year-old child? Your life force has already dwindled, and it will keep dwindling with each consequent death, each and every one of them. Why are you doing this? I warned you. Each new attempt will be harder. When one actor dies, the next finds themselves even closer to the abyss. Try to finish this piece in one go. You, personally, so that no one has to replace you. Have pity on your successor. I'll touch clocks more for now, forewarned, forearmed. Didn't I make it clear enough that clocks won't help you? Clock is just a point from which, which a success begins, but they still carry their predecessors' mistakes. Else we'd never solve this riddle. What is your goal in this, anyway? I'll explain to your successes if you fail. Clearly those will be beyond help, anyway. Those third-rate phonies, so I'll have to spell everything out to them. Wonderful. You're a dangerous man, Mark Immortal. Is that a last name or a nickname? By the by. Well. Balls. God. God damn it. a little bit shaved off the edge of my health forever. Oh, fuck. Right, well. That does make this game a touch more difficult. No going back, huh? No safes coming. Right. Okay. Okay. Put some of this stuff down just for a second or two. Actually. We'll pick them up in a second. I just want to remake my twire. Right. Black and blood makes green. Black and brown makes an Orange. And blood and brown makes white. Okay. And what have we got there? Swavery. It's going to make a, a green plus. Let's put all of this back now. So we have actually quite a few of these good potions. We'll sell them. Okay, blood, brown, black, swevery. That's that's enough to be going with for the moment. Um, yeah. Okay, cool.
for it. I'll have to do. Um. Okay. Right. Okay, back out we go. We'll try this over again, but this time we've got a little bit more knowledge and time on our side. Not a lot though, not enough to really do a lot different. Shit, bro. I'm not good at fighting in this game. I don't want to kill people. through this conversation again. Okay. Map two bullets for Treatment successful. Okay. Two infected. One is the kid. We've saved the kid, probably. One. How the hell do we save Andre? We need to buy. We need to buy antibiotics, but. Christ. I'm not really looking forward to that prospect. Okay. We can still rescue those two at least. We can give them some of the um, potent. Something more potent. Tinctures, I guess? Right. Учитель бы поступил точно так же. So, back through this again. Right. So, please put the lamp out this time at least. Reload our gun. Okay. You should leave, Katanga. No good will come of you being here. You're a bad liar, Katanga. Oh, Christ. Oh. oh, fuck you. Fuck this. I can't do this.
Christ. Ну что? Who are you? Как вам наша игра? Захват? Random applicant. Can I have this role? Good. Your light bulb has dwindled. Ow. Fuck. Is it for real then? Then no. I don't want to be a part of this. What is the new limitation? Let's think about taking away your hands. It's a useful limitation. Actors shouldn't flail around. Even they tie their hands behind their backs sometimes. That encourages development of better facial expressions, body language, ingenuity in general. Let's see you try. Here's what I think. From now on, you'll have a small additional burden. Maybe not even a burden at all. A trifle, really. Well, let's start slow. You won't be able to hug anyone anymore. Ever. Who cares? Well, you won't be able to express affection. If you want to so much as hold anyone, you'll have to improvise. I'll figure something out. This is... I can't... There is no... Fuck. There isn't a means for me to do this. Not without having... There is not a way for me to do this. Fucking hell. Okay. Because I'm not good enough at fighting these guys, and I don't have the help. Four of them is too much. Don't, I can't even get one. I can't do this. Fuck. Plague bringer is here walking around. Where? Where? Where is the plague bringer? Was, this was going so well until suddenly it, it just wasn't. I'm not. I'm not good enough to be able to to do this. Right. Well, we can leave that on the floor. That's not a problem. Blood. Black. Blood brown. Brown and black. sure that hugging people is going to come back to bite me. Because I'm not good enough. Fuck. How did I get into this position? I can't, I can't do this. I can't, I cannot win. There is no, there is no means for me to win this. Not anymore. This can stay and I'll grab it later for the dead item shop or something. I don't I don't know. We'll just have to do. Oh, and of course my thirst is now never gonna be quenched. Shit. Bad decision.
I may have fucked this up. How am I consistently fucking up this day? How? Mm, you again. I decided that I won't bother you anymore. Can you please tell me your name now? Nara. Narana. So you don't remember me at all? You're a herb, prime. The herb's fresh. Never had much contact with your kind. The matter is, you got used to me. Now you won't be so scared when the time comes. It will be easier for you. So you have no regrets. Scared of what? I'm tired of your riddles. What do you want? Are you sure you want to know? Yeah, just tell me already. You'll have to kill me at some point. I told you. I'm yours, Yakuchin. What? Don't be sad and don't be frightened when it happens. You do not fear death. Do you know that you're indifferent to it? But it will help you understand. Mm, I think I do understand now. Is it you? The place is all dirty. What are you talking? When was the last time you took a bath? I don't have time. I'm too busy. Busy with what? I've got a new friend. Talking friend. Really? Talking one? She's a secret friend. I don't know why, but she doesn't like you at all. Just like you, huh? Why should I like you? I like my new friend now. My talking friend. Why doesn't your friend like me, Milky? She says because you're a doctor. She doesn't like that. Strange. That is usually the only thing people like about me. How many times do I have to go through the same rigmarole? Do the same thing? How many times am I gonna have to die? If I fucked it up, Nick Rubin is being hunted. I can't actually do anything about it. <sighs> right. didn't do any good anyway and I know where the infected districts are so I'm not gonna burn my resources out for this. Let's just see if Ruben's still there and if we haven't fucked it up. Yep, we fucked it up. Fuck me. Christ. Oh my god. Right. Well, back we go. Doing the same thing again. There is... There isn't really... <sighs> right, I'm gonna save after we've done our brewing this time. This is, this is really demoralizing. I can't win this. If I go in again, I'm gonna die. If I don't go in, what, what, what do I do? What do I do?
All right, well, let's just make what toy we can. Bloody and brown. sure that this stuff will be useful elsewhere. I'm just really, really pressed with this current state. I don't think that I can win this anymore. Not, not in the way that they want. <sighs> He's still infected. Mokin is infected. somewhere around this. Sorry, I'm being stupid. <sighs> this time it burns way faster now than it did before. I don't know how to do this. This is rapidly spiraling out of my control and I can't save anyone. <sighs> Fucking hell. Ammunition map of the infected area. Over ammunition. Ah, no, I'm, the gun did nothing. of infection then. Actually, before we before we fuck this up again, seeing as I don't want to just go through the same rigmarole each time, we save the game. Fudge a clock. And doubtless get told that we're fucking everything up one more time by Mark. Isn't a 
way to do this. Okay, one more time. Everything's covered in blood. I mean, why is that? No different conversations. Okay. I could just go back into the warehouse. What are you doing here? I wait. I taste the air. We plan on leaving already. Thought we were mistaken, but he is here after all. Your presence confirms it. He's not here. I'm looking for him just like you. You're a bad liar, Kafanger. Uh, lethal force it is then. You can't see me. I can only punch him three times before my exhaustions run dry. The little imp, the dastardly creature. Did it slip out? Did you see it? You're not the director. I'm the junior prop master. I select skulls for tragic monologues and banana peels for funny falls, and I chew away all kinds of rats. Do you have a vermin issue? We have this little demon around, a repugnant creature, even though I grew kind of used to it. But now it escaped the theater into the big world, slipped out, and I have no idea what he dragged with him. Wait a second, it happened because of you, didn't it? You opened the door to come in, and he slipped out through the cracks. I, I didn't come in through the door. It works differently for me, somehow. And it's up to you to find him. I'm not going outside. It's too busy in here. It's unheard of to have something escape into the town from our theatre. It's never happened before. I shudder to imagine the consequences. So I'm free to go. There won't be any punishment. Go, shoo! The rat is out. That's your punishment. He's your headache now if you find him. Just keep in mind, he's an actor too in his own way. When he's in character, there's no use asking about the theatre of death. Better try catching him somewhere nearby. Theatre of death? Oh, uh, no, sorry, I misspoke. smoke. Anyway, why are you still here? Go! I think I understand. Kind of like the theatre operations, yeah? I can't sprint anymore. This is getting stupid. This is going beyond my ability to do. Three times I got him. Three times. I did absolutely nothing. Can't kill the kin, they are way too strong. Well, we might be able to at least get a different line of dialogue around a bit. Hopefully we can just bluff them away. Dying three times for this is really not what I wanted to do. Fuck me. Right. Back out we go. Using I confirm nothing. Oh fuck me.
Okay. Something around here. Now oh, I've got a broken scalpel though. This was so not worth it. Should have taken a knife. Does Griff not have a knife? He doesn't have a knife for a reasonable price, does he? Let's just see what names he actually has. Christ, I made bad decisions. Knife. What the fuck am I gonna do with... the rest of the kindred? I don't really know where they're gone. Where? Where are they? So messy. Where have they gone? <sighs> Is this even worth? Was this quest line worth doing? just died a whole bunch of times. What for? What did I die for? Can't even talk to Reuben again. One. Oh, Christ. This quest line is going to run out before I've actually found them all. Where the fuck are they? They're just vanished. <sighs> this was so not worth it.
in the warehouses. So they're in the warehouses somewhere, but I can't I've run all around these warehouses. There's nobody here. Okay. No, no, no more, no more dead babies. Not right now. Right, I've gone like all around these warehouses. There's no one here. anyone in here? No. There's no one anywhere. Ugh. Okay, so... Okay. I can't find any of them. I, I feel like this, I've been a bit robbed in this quest. <laughs> Nothing I did was of value. Okay. Right, we go in, we cure, we cure. We, or we try and save him, we try and save Notkin. Sorry, we're trying to save the can. It's probably the easiest way is around the side of here, isn't it? Okay. I tell you was unpleasant. Well, that gives him hopefully Prince in pretty good stead to avoid any infection. Okay, we go out and in. guys have anything? Nothing I want to trade for. <sighs> Still really sad that I dropped my uh, leash before I could trade it for the kid. So both of these kids should, both of these guys should hopefully have a good stead today. Okay. We go up. Yeah, we go up to the hospital and go up to the fund.
I think we just need to run. I don't think that we've got the time to... Uh, Oh, shit. Can I just use this? Um, I'm gonna watch how that goes, because if that guy dies, I might be able to steal an organ. Just die already. Nope, he's not gonna die. People on fire somewhere in the background there. Nope. Oh shit. hear a baby crying, but I'm not gonna... Oh, hello. Just look at what you've grown. Unbelievable. The scale of your personality is staggering. I knew the rat that escaped from the theatre. Yes, 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 yes. A child of old theatrical rags, the inhabitant of all musty places, the performer of a small but memorable role, the thing from below the ground. Can't give you an autograph, I'm short of hands. Enough. This humble stage is of objects more remarkable than me. Fair enough. And what are these poles? See this ulcer? Metastasis in the world's body. It grew because you keep dying, jackass. Your doubts are make believe. The world rots for real. That's how big a character you are, Ripper. Impressive. Wait, the... An ulcer, a tumour, an abscess, a boil. How can I make this more clear? You call yourself a doctor. Or did you think you're, oh, did you think you're only your death's concern? Only you. An actor is inseparable from the audience. They're a manifestation of their expectations, so if you keep suffering, sooner or later, everyone will. My mistakes hurt the whole world, but that's not fair. More fair than you think. Oh, but stop fretting. It's just a piece of wood. Or bone, maybe. Some prank just been stuck in the ground, that's all. But you just... So, look, whenever you find yourself in the theatre again and see the stage is empty, know that I must be close. We'll continue our improvisation then. For now, enjoy your freedom. Have fun swinging your arms. See you around then. Oh, fuck. I think I fucked up badly. Well... your panacea going. An oak isn't felled in one stroke. Too many corpses today, more than yesterday. They can barely cart them all away. How long does it take for the sand pest to kill a patient? No one stayed alive for more than a day. If the patient has a weak constitution or no medicine, it takes close to eight hours. And antibiotics? Probably prescribed they can extend their life. I remember Mento talking about it. Always forgot your step for it. The three states? Is that what you mean? The three layers. Could you at least find the right antibiotics for some patients here? Perhaps some would survive a day or two, and you could rescue them with that panacea of yours. So you do, believe, do you believe I can do it after you, I guess? Alright. Consider it done. I've made up my mind, you know. If I survive all this, I leave. Never to return. Where'd you go? I don't know. To the front? I guess it's safer than here. Three patients need antibiotics. Well, here's to hoping that I've got the correct ones. I don't have that as antibiotics.
Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's give this a shot. I guess this is better than nothing. Что же это за болезнь? Вы ведете себя недостойно. Huge building. Spacious. Yes, that's the word I would use. The cane suggested the cathedral. That's it. Nothing surprises me anymore. Having again a quarantine person, all they have left is prayer. But it's a single space, no separate rooms. Precisely, no separate rooms, no running water, no heat, no beds. And yes, it is spacious, vertically. I suppose Victor expects me to build eight-story bunk beds there, and hanging ropes that people from the upper layers can descend to the toilet. Sticks suggest that to the canes, Adirn. So I appreciate your imagination. Building one's spirit, training their will, asking perennial questions. Questions, questions, questions. Always questions, never answers. I have a question for you, Erdin. By the way, what does Erdin mean? Obviously it's a step word, but what's the translation? Arrogant fool, maybe? No, it's a polite way to address a person of knowledge. So? Okay, don't laugh at me. Have you heard that five years ago, during the first outbreak, the kids made these horrible mixtures from ground pills? Yes, schmouders, they can cure the plague. Yes, I've heard. Worse, I've checked. So don't laugh at me either, dear colleague. What's the word? Uh, uh, Erdem? Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my language. So you, you check them? You don't have to watch your tongue with me. Yes, I've checked. But if you wonder how it works, I don't know. I'm not a pharmacologist, and anyway, this place doesn't have a lab. If you ask me, there's 10,000 monkeys at a typewriter. Uh, I don't want to del delve too deep into this. There are more things in heaven and earth. What we need is a process that follows the scientific method. Pity. I wondered if you thought it was... I wondered how it was possible. I thought you, you might know. Okay, I'm not going to take more plague risks right now, so we go in and we go out. Kidding me? No, no, no. Got yourself infected with the sand pass, Cub. Our dogs found you. Did I faint? Yeah, you were lying down, not moving at all, like a corpse. A spot on description of my overall condition. Here, have an immunity pill, so you don't faint anymore, alright? Notkin gave us some, but you need it more. It suppresses all kinds of diseases. It also tingles on your tongue. You a bit too young to play with Notkin's gang. My half told me chose me when I was three. It's their choice, not ours. What is your half? Well, grass snake. A chaffinch. Only I haven't seen her in a year. Don't worry, she'll show herself. Fuck. You have to be fucking kidding me. Ouch. I do not like the voices of the staff. Do 
Do I do I have any immunity? No. There was no way out. Balls. This game is gonna suddenly get a lot harder. I swear to God. Nothing is going well for me. Step rather than dragging a bull through the hindquarters, celebrating their cruelty with beasts. What is there to celebrate? Well, that's a good question. Everyone else mourns while they celebrate. I think you know why. The beasts overflow with joy. I made a half-baked girl ride the thing. Shameless. Hmm, I remember hearing about the bull. So that's in the hindquarters. Well, I mean, that's at least one extra thing that we've got on our list today. Aside from, you know, not dying. So that's increasingly looking more and more difficult. Okay. Back around and down, I guess. I don't know how much of this we can do with this pissingly poor amount of health. I need a pharmacy, really. Okay, well, there's a pharmacy there. We can get to the pharmacy and we can maybe save one of the others. Have you heard, Doctor? We've we'll completely lost faith in you. We've taken the good off ourselves with fire. What fight? The doctors stand around watching microbes. It's we who suffer. We stash away medicine while we're on all our own. Personally, I'm too scared, but there'll be others. They'll burn the sick. They'll be on salvation anyway. We remember the first outbreak, but at least we'll protect ourselves. We study microbes to save you assholes. Really? 
I got a terrible deal there. Pharmacy. I hope it is. Why does no one have the antibiotics I need? Okay. Immunity boosters, morphine, hemicium. I do need a lot of money, but also need the scalpel. the scalpel. Well, that was a useless pharmacy drop. Are there any other pharmacies? Pharmacy's just there, okay. It's broken. will steadily become impossible if we aren't careful. Anders Yarkachin, we are happy to have you here. We look for a butcher. A butcher is to help us restore order, to complete the rank. Is the girl comfortable up there? You sure she won't catch a cold? Behold this perfect body. It must be properly divided. Perfect body. A chimera. Oh, I get it. The girl fused with the bull and must be separated, right? You're a funny man, Yarkachin. I'm glad to hear your jokes. We also joke sometimes. Among the kin. Yes, jokes. Is this your attempt to end the plague? The outbreak is only one misfortune. We do this for other reasons. The bull is like the world. A Yarkachin cuts the bull along the lines and the world comes to order. The bull is pleased. We are pleased. You are pleased. Fine. I know the lines and I'll cut the bull. Look, he says farewell to the town. The town says farewell. While he walks the streets, the town grows into him, binds him with love. When it is done, he will return to the place of blood, Reigai Barrow. We will wait for the butcher there. You do that. I'll come soon. Six in the evening. Pharmacy. go and kill. Are you kidding me? Why is there no... Why is there no one who has the correct antibiotics? So these two pharmacies don't have any. That shitty shop won't work. That pharmacy will be burnt out and dead. That pharmacy will also be burnt out and dead. There's nowhere I can get it. <sighs> so 
I'm going to have to hope that the kids will have something to trade. Um, this is terrible. This is a really terrible outcome. This is possibly one of the worst outcomes I could have hit. It's only day five. could just try and get, well, I, mm, actually, right, I need to get an infected organ. I can get an infected organ. I can maybe mix a tincture with the organ and get an antibiotic and thus, um, thus be able to save our dude. And possibly save myself in the process. Right. So, we know that she is going to let us kill her later. Perhaps again, sacrifice. И все у них кончилось хорошо, и началось плохо. Right. Okay. was weirdly eerie for some reason. <laughs> hmm. Okay, broken ampules, scrap names. Let's just put what we can down. And oh, jeez. <laughs> right. Uh, this is not really going so well. How did this go so badly so quick? Okay, so maybe we'll just try and get a couple of hours sleep. Как уберечь все заражения? Ты же доктор, должен знать. Okay. going to eat a whole bunch of eggs. Right. How's my health? Not not amazing. The exhaustion's lower at least. Okay. So the only things that I have left to do now are try and make more stuff with tincture. Okay, we can do that. I hope. No pharmacies up this way. 
He buys and sells human organs, but... I don't know, I don't think organs are actually going to help me in this. I think what I need to do is hang around a little in an infected district. Find someone dying. Let's go while I can. How much is durability? Like next to nothing. That lockpick's gonna break if I try and use it. My health is going down every touch. Because the infection's gone up a little touch. Oh, uh, should we try for that baby house? breath of the plague keeps blowing over me and I don't like it. Oh, we can watch from here. This is a good place to watch this fight go out. And if that if that infected citizen dies. Okay, that was a way to cheese myself out of it. Okay. I'm not enjoying this uh, constant hit to my health. I'm gonna need a lockpick at some point, so at least the kid I can trade for it. Yeah, something. Yeah, have one of the tinctures. Get rid of a bad one. Don't need a bad one. Okay. A stupid mistake there. I may have traded the wrong thing. I may have made an error. I'm constantly making errors, and every time I make a mistake, I pay for it. How do we fix this? We need calipers, metal spring, and toolkit. I need another toolkit. But. constantly be with them for this whilst they're brewing or can I go and do other things elsewhere whilst it's brewing
hope I can do other things elsewhere. That would be a lot more convenient. Oh, it was a normal liver, just an, an infected kidney. Right, but what do I have here that I can take? Swivery, blood, action swish, brown, blood, black. <laughs> what do I want to make? Swivery and blood, right. Okay. And Ash and Swish and Blood. Alright, now in the interim. Brown and Blood. Brown and Black. still just brewing. Okay, I need to get more um, water. There should be water barrels in this area of the town, so. But I could also just sleep for an hour. Mm, wouldn't, it would be a bit of a waste though. Three bottles, not really a lot. Enough to be going with though. Grocery, clothes, pharmacy, grocery. Really what I want is, well let's see if we can upgrade our inventory. I need a needle and mm, or a toolkit. Well, let's give this a shot. Alright, we'll nip up to see what we can buy. Broken or is this one okay? It's broken. Just water barrels that I have put for now. Uh, since dying, I've started to hear more. I don't like it. I don't like it. Right, I'll do. Okay, water, water, water. You just load. Do I fill up all my empty bottles? Cool. bit weird. Okay, what can you what can you sell me? A sewing box. Needle looks up because I need one. Sewing box is not useful to me. At least not immediately. Oh. 
Wait, 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 wait. What can you offer me? Uh, no. It's just not really going so well right now, and I can't quite tell what I've done to screw everything up. Oh well. Bunch of water bottles. Day five until I was infected. Day day five. Rats, I didn't even make it to the halfway point. Okay, seventeen minutes, sixteen minutes. Alright, let's just put some of our potions back where we want them to be. What does that noise mean? I can't tell. is being sacrificed to the Ray Guy Barrow. Okay. Right, so we go and we deal with the bull sacrifice. <laughs> we can do that. I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not gonna infect myself more just for the sake of rescuing the baby. Um <laughs> shit. Sorry if I seem a little bit emotional in regards to that. Um I uh, was recently involved in the case with a. No, uh, that's why I can't. I can't ruin the one just yet. Well, what we'll do is we'll. one from the infected brain as well, I think, and then we'll just have to deal with the consequences of our shitty decisions. But yeah, sorry if I seem a tad emotional. I uh, recently was involved in a case with a... where uh, we failed to save a young child. I'm not in the habit of... not in the habit of being overly... I guess overly sentimental about a lot of things, but um, it's hard to come away following a seeing a child die. It's hard to come away with your heart intact. What do you do now, I wonder? Seek a salve up to slay me? Oh, you dear warm being. Are you sure you want to challenge me, earthly man? Uh, so you are a living thing after all. Indeed, I am life itself. Is that so? And yet all you touch dies. And what's the next step in this plot that you weave? I would like to know. I'm making a cure. You jest, surely. You're like a bairn making stew from sodden bones. What was that red stuff? Guts from menfolk? Bah, man guts won't do, but I oh no, your bodies are weak. Try your foolish potion on someone and you will see that it is worthless. There are other organic components out there. Something might work. You mean to test everything you can find? What wisdom. You should be done in 40 years if you live to reach such an age. I might cut short your woe, for I am not without kindness. The fool will die, and the wise shall receive my help. Don't mean to test every combination of ingredients. I do not stand still, Menku. 
I shift and shift quickly. Will you race me? All right, I'll give you a head start. Get lost. It's comforting to think that we can truly defeat death. Okay. I just want an antibiotic. That's all I need is just an antibiotic. brain, infected kidney. Well, I've got most things down then. We'll have to go hunting for more twire. If we find enough twire, then maybe... Maybe. Just maybe. Great big bird. Okay, maybe it's on the other side. Okay, onwards. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So much of a twire. He's ready, Arkachin. 
He waits only for you, Yargachin. Much joy in such waiting. Soon he will become himself, and the sky and earth will return to their due places. Gorgon shall flow, and harsh winter will chase away the foul autumn. That which came from the ground shall return to the ground. A blade for you, Yargachin, to trace his lines properly. Thank you. This is a good blade. <laughs> the correct blade. To follow his lines. Perhaps in such a sacrifice we may save the town. Perhaps in such sacrifices we can discover such things. Take our you. The Buha grants you his blood. Take the blood. The Buha are immune to earth plague. The disease rolls off them. Water off foul. The blood is strong. Drink it, Yarkachin. It is good for your health. They don't get ever sick. They don't ever get sick. Y you're sure? We keep eyes on every bull. We love them. Know them better than our children. If the bull died, how could we have missed it? A learned man came to us. He said the bulls brought the disease. He was a fool. He made a mistake. No. He's no fool, but perhaps I should tell him of this... of this bull thing. Sense to show the blood, bull blood to Dankowski, for he is the man with the microscope. Shall we leave a bottle? I think we'll have to. Okay. is creeping up. I suggest that one antibiotic a day, a strong antibiotic a day, should probably do the trick for us. So we've gained a whole bunch more twire. We did get cursed with an infection, but hopefully we'll be able to keep on top of it. Bring the bull's blood to Dankowski. 
if we're feeling really decadent, we might cure ourselves, but I'm not really jumping at the, uh, jumping to do that just yet. Okay. Painkiller. Painkiller made from liver tissue. Hmm. Not useful. Still going down a bit. Mm. So, kidney, heart, brain. We just find somebody lying on the floor in the infected districts. <laughs> we try it out on them. That seems sensible. I guess it'll do. Oh, once more. I'm just gonna punch him to death. We'll, uh, we'll stand by. Okay, we do okay, now we've got we've got enough stuff to be going with. In fact, a brain can be brewed into an antibiotic. <laughs> okay. It's no panacea, but it'll do. Out of the infected area, we just. I'm, I'm not really desperately urging, urging to uh, make a mess of that again. Okay, we go in, talk to Dankowski. Brain we have. Hmm. Brain we have, heart we have, liver we have. Uh, 
might just try and get some painkillers and go to sleep when we hit here. Exhaustion's not that high. There must be a pharmacy. I mean, I guess VAR kind of functions as a pharmacy, doesn't it? You're a stepman, aren't you? You're kin. Tell me how to walk the step right. You've no business in the step town, Flower. What are you, a daisy? Forget me not? A daisy, I guess. You must be a bitter root. Why? Because you're bitter and rooted here. Surprisingly apt. Want me to tell you a dream I had? Go ahead. I dreamt of Earth. A cemetery. Not ours. A different one in a big city. I walked through it barefoot. Then I saw him there, on the snow melt. The bones. I realized they were his beloved bones, or maybe my own even. Why? What was the purpose of my life? Whose bones were they, Bellflower? Your tenants? The plague came after me. Really? I'm good for nothing, worthless. I, I don't know my own purpose. Do you? No, I don't. You know, I tried to tell him, but he only laughs it off. I don't want to die. I know I must, but, but I don't want you to. You must? No, you don't. So, don't. Not a fruitless attempt. There must be a solution to this problem. There must! You look exhausted, Odin. Get some sleep. Dwyer is in bloom. Tell that to Reuben. He doesn't sleep at all. Though he's well aware of that Dwyer of yours. Is he, I wonder? Anyway, how's it going? Any progress? Uh, I've got something. Bulls can't get infected. Are you sure? I had the same line of thinking. At least that's the first thing I checked. And? The whole bull thing. I had one delivered to me. I injected it with a strain, intending to collect the blood sample the next day. But the beast disappeared in the night. Any idea who could be behind it? Here. Yeah. Take a look. Sample of bull blood. Are you a mind reader? No, it's just I have so you have experience with this. You're a scientist, I'm a surgeon. Leave with me, I'll study it. It will take only a few hours. Whilst I'm busy, you may hit the cot over there by the folding screen. You need it. I've seen corpses prettier than you. Alright, thanks to Jim. Okay. Uh Well Okay Clara, what do you want? Wait. Strike if you will, but hear me. I came to entrust the lives of my new parents to you. Strike if you will, but hear? Picks from some Latin from Dankovsky? Actually, it's Greek. Want me to give you the context? You can distinguish Greek from Latin. I'm impressed. There's some trouble looming over both of them. Something within their house. It's a house of troubles. My adopted mother is especially in danger. Can you help us? Can you watch over them, please? Wait a second. Don't I ruin everything I touch? Isn't that what you told me? Forgive me, please, forgive me, please. Why don't you help them yourself? Aren't you supposed to be the greatest healer in the world? I I did take care of them, but I can't any longer. I need to disappear for a while, maybe even forever. Don't ask, please. You'll understand soon enough. But tell me you'll do it, Barak. I know you have a warm heart. Fine, who are they? The Sabarovs. They're my new mother and father. Sabarovs. There's the troubles I see. Will you do it? I'll never ask anyone themselves. Mother thinks the whole town hates her for failing to protect them from the plague. And father, he takes all evil on himself so that no one else would be soiled. But mother has the worst of it. She needs a doctor. 
I'll pay her a visit, but I can't promise I'll save her. Hmm. I'm a fan of the Sabarabs, but hey. Maybe they, maybe I can do some good. Right. I really need an antibiotic, because if I don't, then, then I'm really worried. Thank Christ. What does he want for it? That'll do. Okay, now I need to run. As fast as I can. Okay, now I, yeah, I'm gonna just run as fast as I can. How do I get out of here? Okay, run as fast as we can across the step. That's probably the best way forward. And we can cure, we, well, we can at least help Andre. Perhaps I was foolish to have taken the uh, antibiotics. Well, antibiotics, the immunity boost is so soon. Bloody hell. It's not going well for me. Oh, jeez. The more mistakes we make, the worse this gets. save my antibiotics for the kids, but uh, I'm going to need them myself. the way there. Oh, Jesus. This is just... I don't know how I managed to make it such a mess of today. Desperately hoping that this all works out. See if Ruben's done with his shady business. Okay. So there's a few things to be done with then. Two infected. Hopefully the others will make it out alive. Or at least otherwise as unharmed as possible. It's still not entirely possible to completely free someone of the risk of infection. 
Uh, okay. of this world here again. It's already starting to fall to pieces just because I couldn't punch in a dong to death. At least we've got a good, good lot going in the fund today. Hopefully this will be enough to keep us going. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's not fuck up again. Why did you come, Kolbun? There's enough of us here already. We begin soon. Or do you want to protect your friend? He's not already. That can't be changed. Can't anything done about this. The heart of the kin has made up its mind. So this is how it will be. If you kill us, others will come. If not today, tomorrow. You can't save your friend. He's Umshi, a dead man. The heart. You choose pretty words. I know a word or two as well. Who's in charge of all this? Who do I need to talk to for you to leave Stack alone? No one. There are no ones. Only the whole. The people. The kin. The Katanga. She has a heartbeat, a sense. It decides nothing. It acts. Your friend is a thorn in our heart. If you truly want to help him, pray to Stepmother Suok. Kiss the earth. Pray for the thorn to rot on its own. Then there'll be no need to extract it. So there's still a chance, eh? Means he's not dead yet after all. Hmm. There's some more vultures outside. Не поминай их. Closer, closer. It's all right. What matters is I'm finished. I can rest now. Where is whatever you worked with yesterday? It's depleted. You promised to tell me what you were doing. I helped Denkovsky make a vaccine. My product is not what he wanted. It only provides temporary protection, but it's better than nothing. It's not what I wanted either, but I won't throw in the towel. What was it made of? I'll tell you later if I survive to tell your tale. About your survival. Do you plan to just sit there and wait until they break in? All I want now is a good night's sleep. A few hours would do. I need to change hideouts. Nothing's keeping me here anymore. Can you distract them? Lead them away? Yeah, I can do that. I just need a few minutes to slip away. And then you can run away too, or give up. They want me, not you. They take you as one of their own. I don't want to hide behind you, but I can barely stay on my feet. That's fine. It's not the first time. Alright, be ready to run. need to do is live in the waste that Ruby can free. Flee.
Okay. Okay, I think I'm think I can just run past them. I think I managed to dodge them just enough. Dankovsky's done with the bull blood. Okay, well, they seem to be gone, so. All I need to do is lure them away so that Ruben can flee, but why is he not going? I'm not about to make that mess again. You know something? Right, we're, we're going to go save the game and then I think we're going to have to just go to the theatre. Or maybe we should do it the other way around? I don't know. Therefore, useless to me. <sighs> I'm not strong enough to make that fight. Looter here is gonna try and get me if I go too close. There's too many of them. Alright, running. gun then maybe I can do something but I don't have a powerful enough weapon to really be able to stand up against these guys. <sighs> this is just not really going good. Is it clean water? It's clean. It'll do. Okay. Okay. I don't know what else we can do. I don't think there is anything else we can do for now. Okay. We go to the theatre, we go back to check on the bull blood. And we then check on the Sabarov mistress. I think that's probably the best route forward, yes. Hmm. Actually no, let's check on the Sabarovs now before before the dawn. Ok, 
Okay. Yep, that'll do. Just gonna try and keep stealthy. Avoid these guys. Well, that didn't work. Never works. Hopefully, your friend continues. Come dawn, you won't be able to help him anymore. That the night will be uneventful. New pantomime is being rehearsed in the theatre. Death toll 3,621. Failed to respect, protect the bridge square. Okay. Kids not coming still alive. Are you kidding me? Right. Okay. So that means the infection is right on top of me then, because I'm just going to go to these guys. С каждым днем время летит все быстрее. День заканчивается и наступает ночь. They say the Sabarovs nurture the plague. They say they're the hub of the carrier. A girl. I won't carry you. Hell if I know. That's why we're here. To get him to give her up. But he won't. Keeps lying. Says there's no carrier. Trying to talk us down. Soon he's going to cause people to hunt down women in the street like on that first day. Why would they do that? You dense pal. The plague plays right in Sabarov's hands. The Gaines and have always resented them. Now he wields the power. He's pulling all the stops. Promoting order, he says. Some order. So he's, he's not like that. has had three ruling houses, Cain, Olgimsky, Sabarov. Each one would reign o'er their domain. The Cains were our head, the Olgimskys our belly, but pray, Burach, tell me what the Sabarovs held. They were the bones. The Cains were the weavers of laws and dreams, and Olgimskys were masters of, masters of money and men, but Sabarov remained an executive power. Their, their task was to keep the streets in order in a town where there was almost no crime. I guess the genocide that the Olgimskys were perpetrating against the Cain doesn't count as a crime, then. Tis funny, you see. When the houses agreed to manage the town, Sabarov was in the name of the triumvirate's head. I know not what that meant, nor what it entailed. Nor what it, entailed. it entails exactly what's happening now. They could seize control in the face of a mortal crisis. Sabarov still believes that his mission is clear. Keep order. He may not look the part, but he is no fool. He knows duty entails the pursuit of order through fear, and that violent means stain the soul of a duty-bound man. Thank you, Reflection Null. Keep that in mind. When denied respect, a man is not wounded, but I... Not even for evil he does, but for failing to do much at all. Even more, when you had not a chance to do it in any deed of note. There are only so many of those going around. Can't say. People seem to respect me. I speak not of you, but I, I speak of my master. His pride, his soul, has been wounded by my lack of respect. He needs his authority now more than ever. The Canes, the Olgimskys, never trusted our house. Perhaps this distrust never turned to contempt. But distrust it was, dear sir. What are you getting at, Reflection? Nothing. I have said my piece. You're a healer. One thinks you might care to learn more about pain. I'm concerned with a different kind of pain. <coughs> if a person comes to think that you wounded their heart with deceit, does that mean you truly are guilty of it? More so in regards to their feelings, their hopes, and their fears? What does this have to do with Alexander Sabarov? You not his reflection? What indeed? I just asked you a question. 
Then this is a trick question that I shall not answer. Ничего. Выдержу. Я сделан из дерева. Ah, Burak. If you grow weary of your medical duties and seek to join the town guard, you'll be disappointed. Your expertise would be wasted on the streets. Not to mention we're almost out of leather caps. Good to see you've kept your sense of humor. So what brings you here today? The hunt for the urchin that carries the plague? If so, don't bother. My porch is already packed with volunteers. Pockets full of matches and kindling need room, no room for common sense. Are oh, they planning another burning? They showed up this morning, claimed to have found the carrier. A homeless little girl, clearly infected, but nevertheless not alive and well. I know perfectly well what urchin they mean. Be assured, she has nothing to do with this. How can I help? You're a doctor. They'll trust you more than me. Tell them they're mistaken. Better yet, if they capture her, they can't hurt her. Without her, we're doomed. Isn't that right? Dankovsky told that. About his van vaccine project. I'll remind them of the Shabnak hunt and how that went. Everything is just kind of starting to fall apart a little bit. Hmm. Well, Hila, will you tell us about the carrier? Is she in there with him? Listen to me, idiots. There is no carrier. This is all nonsense and idle talk. Is that true, Hila? Listen to me, no mob justice. Not one girl gets hurt, do you understand me? They also say she's not alone. Not everyone dies from this sickness. Do you get what that means? I do, but we need to make sure, and that's not your job. If there are people who get sick but don't die, the plague must come from them. What do you know about connections? That's not how any of this works, you fool. Even if silly rumors hold a grain of truth. She's shown her true colors, the false mistress. If our beloved white swan Victoria were here, she'd be out on the streets shielding people from trouble. And Nina? If she'd around, none of this would be happening. That's the sort of power she had. But this one just locks herself up at home. A useless mistress. The Victoria could do nothing about a plague like this. You say Victoria couldn't? You're just faithless. She would. She used to shelter the town underneath her bright wings. She used to be her white mother. She would let no trouble in. What do you even know? Where did you even come from? Speak of mistresses as if they were miracles, but they are just women. You know nothing, you dolt. If you don't know the power of the mistresses, then shut your mouth and show some respect. Have some sense. Give off some heat. Give us some light. Give off some poison. We sense that she gives off poison. Well, I suppose I should be going. Fuck. Wisest woman in our town would take the title mistress, a word that calls to mind the tales of ancient sorcery. Do you believe in such a thing? Mistresses were two extraordinary women in the town's ruling families. There was something undeniably uncanny about them. Stepson, you bear the marks of nature's flow upon your skin, but mind how thin the twire runs in your veins. You are more stone than earth. Like ships must catch the wind and sails, our town relies on nature's flow. Nature is everywhere. Everything lives by her flows. None know how many winding paths there are. None know what forces run their course. There are no words for what they hold. To see them calls for gifted senses, gifted minds. And should one hear the call of such a gift, what feats, what brave new world they'd find with it, like being the very first to hoist a sail. Such gifts are not yet the domain of mankind. Victoria Olgimskaya, Nina Kaina. One, five foot six, one, six foot one. Mortals, but seen as giants, for they could feel the powers move across the firmament. And? Some merely know the flows, some feel them now and then. Mistress tastes those waves, might drink of them, and when the stars align, might ride them. The people felt such women knew the workings of the world itself. And that's it. How is that not enough? The mistresses kept their hands quite clean of rough and tawdry magics. Victoria knew not a spell that brought the dead to life, but Nina did inspire fear. Along her steps, doors shut and children hid, but those two women gave the town its life. None know the hows or whys of such a power. I've heard that Victoria did raise the dead. That is probably just a rumour. Two mistresses there were, and all felt that to be correct. For one was night and one was day, one was heat and one was cold, one was storm and one was calm, contrast reigned. 
Nina held court over schism and unease. Victoria's domain was peace and nourishment. The bright and fearsome, as they were called. The Canes had Nina, and the Olginskis had Victoria. When Sabadov returned with his young bride, my Katerina, there was no place for her in such a scheme. But her hairs would raise, and her skin would sense it. And once Nina did perish, Katerina took a place, and seized a name for herself. Nina the Wild. Nina did only drive men to fear, but Katerina, naive as she was, mistook the nuance of Nina's role for a romantic darkness, and that, in turn, would drive her down the road to frightful things. Nobody really noticed. Victoria died. Katerina replaced both mistresses. Two roles to play, and she grew into neither, but patient folk would wait for her to find a gift, and some may still await her day. True. It's easier to be fearsome than kind. Wild Nina begat Maria the Talented. Warm Victoria begat Capella the Gifted. My mistress has no one. She'd take any child to raise as her kin. Gift or no gift. Is she in pain? She sits in darkness, weaving blackest yarn from heaviest thoughts. She'd rather knit baby socks. Instead, she drapes black folds around her throat and chokes. Don't whine, reflection. At night we hear her talk to herself, mad. I failed to give life to the town, talentless. I failed to nourish the town or child, giftless. I failed to guard against plague, useless. I am barren. <laughs> She'll manage, probably. There's definitely still time for her to have a child. Have you heard such wondrous news? We wait in awe for our new daughter, true and talented, and such a talent, sir, a blessed gift. And now we are not two but three, and one will much more mighty be than two be. So where is the girl? She walks alone in the streets and does her chores, bound to this plague somehow. She has the gift, so she must stay to stop the plague. Salvation can and must come from the house of Sabarov. Your mistress has gone mad. Reflection. Just try and staunch the flow of blood. <laughs> Fuck, he's throwing he's throwing Molotovs at me. Stone. Give me a grindstone. Fine. Don't give me a grindstone then. Right. is actually way too far along. I need to deal with it. Um, 
Right. So. Mm, where do I put this fish? Oh, balls. I don't really want to... I shall not entertain this. Okay. Okay, da 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 Жизнь только там, где схватка, я не смерть, я не смерть, я жизнь. Fuck it. Um. We only need the one lockpick. Is being burned out too quick. Whoa. Christ, everything's just going wrong. I can't fight whilst I'm sick. Where did he come from? Oh god. It grows towards the theatre. Well, here we go. Впервые влюбилась, когда мне было шесть лет. Такой он славный был, мальчишка с веснушками. И вот сейчас я, знаете, его звали Матвей. А вот я не верю тебе. Ты мне не нравишься. Даже не просто не нравишься. Я к тебе чувствую какую-то врожденную неприязнь. А, а ну это... Ладно, меня обычно все любят. Я тоже не люблю тебя, девочка с религией. Но не тебя одну. Вряд ли я вообще умею любить. Так это все никуда не годится. Распустили тут сопли. Вам скоро станет стыдно за то, что вы вообще переживаете о таких пустяках. Идите спать, все. Репетиция окончена. I'm gonna take it for myself. I think I need it. Because my health is draining way too quickly. Um, okay. Okay, town. I guess we have to go. Where's the safest place to go and rest? Probably Lara's. Dead item shop is open. Why? Up? Most useless part of the city. I can't get there. You know something actually at this rate it might be easier just to Oh yeah. Uh oh fuck. Hey. 
Hey, did you bring me anything yummy? Hey, kiddo. You by any chance sick? Let me take a look. Why? There's a room is... Because I'm a doctor and I said so. Look at the light and let me examine your pupils. I'm not sick. Nope, not me. Never am. Don't even get colds. Not even when I'm soaked and barefoot. Hmm. True. No signs of the disease. Well, I'm not scared of this plague at all. Everyone's dying from it, Murky. Not everyone dies from it. Only people who are scared, and I'm not scared at all. Who told you that? My new friend? Do you mean Clara? Is Clara your new friend? No, it's not Clara at all. It's my special friend. She's always with me. Yeah, yeah, sure. Alright. Mob justice, this isn't going well. Everyone is in danger. Бубонная чума иногда проходила у тех, кто лежал неподвижно. Пожелать Sandpest evolves and mutates in human blood. Fast. It doesn't do that in bulls, so bulls are of no interest to it. But their antibodies could theoretically be useful. But unless the disease is weakened, we can't inject a person with those antibodies. It's too risky. Children, for example, definitely wouldn't survive the procedure. We're too different from bulls. Meaning, what we need is a... A man or so. A creature that combines man and bull. Right, I think that's where we're gonna have to leave things for here. Good luck. 